It's officially been a year now since I left the nest and moved in with two of my best friends, and life couldn't be better. Living with Jules and Heather has been the best. There's never a dull moment with these two. We still got our jobs at the Tyndale Tide, me at the gift shop, Heather at the pool snack bar, and Jules as a lifeguard at the water park during the summer. I just finished my first year of community college. Right now I'm majoring in general education, but I may change it in the future. Jason and I are still as strong as ever. In fact, a couple months ago, we took our first vacation together. We went to San Diego for a few days during spring break and it was so fun. It was without a doubt, the best vacation I've ever been on. In fact, we're already planning our next one. There's also been a major change for the family as well. Last month, they sold the house that they've lived in since I was a baby, and moved into a brand new home in a new housing tract. Ashley and Nate love the new house, although they miss living next door to Jack. But he and Uncle Mark and Aunt Jenny have also recently moved. They now live in the Oak Creek area. And not long ago, I got a second part-time job, helping Mason with the babysitting venture. Ever since Nicole moved to LA, he's really expanded it with more people. I like having another source of income, plus, it's fun to be around children. At least the well-behaved ones. But anyway, back to the present. Amber and Belinda just finished attending their songwriting retreat in Yosemite, and today, they're coming to visit us for a few days. The timing couldn't be better, since today marks a year and a day that we've been living here, and we thought it would be fun to celebrate that milestone with our friends. Are they here yet? Amber and Belinda? I'm not sure. Jess, do you know if they got here yet? Good question Jules. Let me see. Amber? Belinda? Are you here? Um, I guess not. Well aren't you funny? She just texted us in her group text that they were still about an hour away. Yeah, like literally just a minute ago she sent it. Oh, my battery just died so that's why I didn't hear the notification. Anyway, I got everything we need for tonight. And these bags are getting heavy, so I'm gonna go put this stuff away. We'll help. I could be rough, I could be tall. I make you feel real uncomfortable. Can give you my thing, but not my hand. I won't do you a little dance. You know, as beautiful as it was up in Yosemite, I can't wait to get back to the city. Or I should say, back to town. Tyndale's too small to be a city. I'm really looking forward to performing at the water park tomorrow. There's nothing like the rush you get when you debut a song you just wrote in front of an audience. Plus, I've never performed in Tyndale Valley before, so it should be fun. I remember the times my friends and I performed there, back when we were still Bratitude. Everyone loved us, and I know they'll love you too. I hope so. I know so. Too bad the timing didn't work out for me and mom to be in Tyndale Valley at the same time. It would have been awesome to be there while she was there for her high school reunion, but she's back in New York now. Maybe you can fly out there this summer and go see her. Yeah, I have been thinking of surprising her by going there in a couple weeks during 4th of July. Ooh that'll be fun. Can Nicole and I tag along? I'm cool with that? Yes. Big Apple, here we come. But first, Tyndale Valley here we come. Always good to be back home. So how are those steaks looking? I'm about to flip them over for the reverse sear. Like the guy from TikTok says, these things are looking sexy like Lexi. Can't wait. Hey Jason. Who's Lexi, and why are you calling her sexy? I don't think Jessica will appreciate that very much. Hey, you two made it after all. Yes we did, just in time it looks like. It smells great up there. Yup, steaks are just about done. Ooh, I love me a good steak. I hope by done, you don't mean well done. 
Oh no way. I respect steak too much to destroy it like that. Come on up ladies, the front door is unlocked. So first you do this, for a few beats. And then you switch to the other side. And then, you kick to the left, stomp, then kick to the right, stomp, and repeat the process. You both look so ridiculous doing that. Couldn't agree with you more. And then you just stomp like this, like some caveman on steroids. And that's the stir Bakken stomp. See? Nothing to it. I can't believe that's become the newest dance trend on TikTok. And it was started by a couple of guys who live here in Tyndale. Oh, it went viral so fast. It's even bigger than the pink shoelaces dance. I'd love to see these two have a go at that one. Now I think I'll just stick with the drums. You still play? Just when Dennis and I hang out and jam once in a while. That's cool. So, are you excited for tomorrow? You know I am. And I hope to see you all there in the crowd too. Of course Belinda. We'll time our breaks just right, so we can be there at the stage. I'll try my best to be there too. But if I can, then I can just listen from wherever it is I'm posted at. You'll definitely be able to. Those speakers are so loud that artists performing on that stage can be heard all the way in the parking lot. You guys want to hear a sneak preview of my new song? Hell yes. Jason, would you go turn off the music? Yup. Alright, I wrote this one a few days ago, at the retreat. It's called Tell Em No, and it goes like this. You've been trying to cater to all the needs You've been feeling guilty for so long Baby, then our friends, they are enemies Don't you tell them yes, tell them get lost Cause every time you go and ask for help They say sorry, but I'm busy So you end up doing it yourself Ooh, hold up, baby, don't take it In a friendship if they just fake it You don't need to put up with their bullshit Tell them no, 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 no That's good, Belinda. Thank you. Of course it's gonna sound even better with the backing track. And of course, I'm not gonna curse up on stage. I think you got a breakthrough hit on your hands, B. And the crowd at the Tyndale Tide tomorrow will hear it first. I appreciate that, Amber. Okay, who's ready for dessert? We all are. Bring it on. They have a lot of cute things here, don't they? I knew you'd love it here, Phoebe. I really do. Look at these handbags here. I think I want to get one. Those are 10% off if you're really interested. Hey Candy. Jessica. I was hoping I'd see you here. Good to see you again. How's your summer going? Just great. I'm here with my parents and my friend. Jessica, this is Phoebe. She's a recent transfer from Sacramento. Phoebe. This is the one I told you about, Jessica. Hello Jessica. Candy's told me a lot about you. She's told me about you too. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Really? Yes. Wow, I've never had a local celebrity say that they've wanted to meet me before. I told her that you were the guitarist in Gratitude also. I see. Well, speaking of that, I was just about to go on break and head to the stage. Another of my musical friends is performing. No way. You know Belinda Reyes too? I thought I was the only one who knew about her. I really like her songs. Well you're both welcome to join me if you like. I would love to. Me too. Alright Tyndall Valley, how you feeling?
Now, I'd like to present another up and coming artist hailing from Los Angeles and performing here in Tyndale Valley for the first time. And let me tell you, this girl is definitely going places. Please give it up for Belinda Reyes. Thank you. It's really great to be here. Before I start, I'd like to give a shout out to some special people here in the audience. I'm sure you all remember them as the popular band Bratitude, and I'm very happy to call them my friends. Let's hear it for Amber Larson, Jessica Andrews, Heather Campbell, and Jason Ramford. We love you, B. I love you too. So, this is a song I wrote only a few days ago, and I'm performing it now, for the first time. This is called, Tell Em No. I love it already. Hey, Julie. Hey, Tina. You going on break now? Yeah, I'm meeting up with my friends at the stage to see Belinda Reyes perform. Oh cool, I'll probably go there too for a few minutes, but first I'm gonna grab something at the snack bar. Well if you do go, you can join us if you want. Okay. Tell him no, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'll be back in 10. Well, the girls had to get back to work, but they wanted to say good luck with the rest of the show. I appreciate that. So, I go back on in a few more minutes. Good. That leaves me just enough time to go say hi to Kayla and Samir and a few of my other old Tyndale Tide co-workers. Have fun. Be back soon. Hey, good show. Aw, uh, damn, Linda. What's up, cuz? Ugh, come on. Not in front of everyone. Aw, uh, come now. I know I'm the only one who can break through that angry woman against the world facade you've had going on since birth. So, what brings you here? All right, I came to see you sing. Wow, I knew it. You do care, after all. Look, call it getting soft in my old age. But I've decided it's about damn time I got off my ass and started embracing life. And I figure that part of that involves being there for family. And since you're family, I'm here to show my support. Well, damn, I appreciate that. So, what did you think of my song? Well, I still believe that classical music is the only true musical form. But as far as your song goes, it's not half bad. I'll take it. So you gonna catch the rest of my show then? Sure. Awesome. Well, I'm about to go back on stage now, and I expect to see you right up in front with my friends. Deal. What a fun three days it's been. Yeah, too bad it has to come to an end. But there'll be a lot more times like this in the future. Yes, there will. Well, I hope you all have a safe trip to New York next week, and have a good time. We sure will. And Jessica, when we see your uncle, we'll tell him you said hi. Much appreciated. Well be? 
We better hit the road. I want to get back to LA before dark. Well, until next time. Oh.